how to solo kill the Broodmother. What? Oh my god, she, she's huge! What the f Welcome, welcome, welcome to the first boss in Grounded. The Brute Mother is terrifying, but with this guide, killing her will be like smashing some spiderlings with a hammer. Or not. I am a Grounded content creator. You can find almost everything about Grounded on this channel or my website. After watching this tutorial, consider subscribing to the channel as new videos on the 0.10 update are coming soon. Different from every insect and creature of the backyard, you need to prepare to have a chance against the Broodmud. So, this tutorial is divided into two parts, preparation and combat. If you feel you are ready and don't need to watch the preparation walkthrough, jump to 4 minutes and 32 seconds of the video to watch just the combat tutorial. Preparation Let's go through the list of items and mutations you should have to fight the Broodmother. This setup was thought to make the combat as easy as possible. Feel free to change and adapt the list to your gameplay preferences. Number 1. Ladybug Armor. Essential item I don't recommend to change. Stinger Spear and Weevil Shield. You can change to your weapon of choice. This is my preference because I control better stamina and it's easier to block attacks. Number 3. Insect Bow and 20 Gas Arrows. Essential item I don't recommend you to change. Number 4. 10 fiber bands, essential item, I don't recommend you to change. Number 5. 15 smoothies of your preference. My choices were 5 boost juice for max stamina, 5 liquid rage for more attack damage, 5 green machine for faster stamina recovery. Number 6. Free breath bursts, not essential but fun. Number 7. Brood Mother BLT. This is how you base the brood out of her hole. Without it, there is no fight. When you are done, your character and bag should look like this. If you need help to bake the Brood Mother BLT, I made a tutorial just for that. It's being suggested right now. Click on the top right corner of this video to watch it. Now, Let's check the recommended mutations. Number 1. Meat Shield. Increase your health by 20%. Number 2. Javeliner. Increase damage with spears. If you change your weapon, remember to choose the appropriate mutation. Number 3. Mithridatism. Immunity to Venom. This is a new mutation, and to get it is necessary to kill 5 wolf spiders. It is extremely helpful against the Brutal. But if you don't want to go through the trouble, Cope the Grass or Cardio Fan are another two good options. We just went through a bunch of stuff. If you have doubts, comment below and I will help you. I also posted a link on the description of the video where you will find all this information with more details. Combat! Ahoo! The Broodmother Nest entrance is at the Fling Man Flying Disc, which is at the berry bushes close to the edge lab. As you enter into the nest, Go to its end and save your game. Yes, don't forget to save your game. 
let's talk about the Brute Mother. She has 6 different attacks and the combat has 4 stages. As I play the combat, I will call out each one of those. To start, shoot 2 gas arrows at the middle of the nest. And then, place the Brood Mother BLT. After a couple of seconds, the Brood Mother will descend to the middle of the nest. While she drops, shoot 2 gas arrows at her and throw 3 breath bursts to the middle of the nest. By doing that, you can take between 15 to 25% of her life. Let's check the replay. This was the 3 bite attack. After every attack, spear her as much as you can. The first important thing to know, when your shield is raised, it will defend you from every attack. There is no need to try perfect blocks. This was the big leap forward attack. And most of the time, it also means the combat stage has changed. The second stage, the spiderlings joined the fight. I popped a fiber band to compensate incoming damage from the spiderlings. Just ignore them and keep fighting the brood mother. The healing and the ladybug armor will handle them. This is the jump hit attack, possibly the most powerful strike of the brood mother. This one was the big bite attack, but the important thing to notice is that when fighting the brood, I'm always circling her and never running. This way I save my stamina to make damage. New big leap forward attack. The third stage, Orb Junior Weavers join the fight. Here the combat gets a little bit more tricky. Pull out your insect bow and shoot gas arrows to kill the orb juniors. Keep kiting and shooting arrows, and if you need, run. There is no problem to spear an orb junior if it's a final blow. Just avoid being surrounded by two or more of them. This was the 5 hit attack and I missed the perfect block on the last one. Reason why I recommend, don't try perfect blocks. It was also the first big damage I took, and because of that I used movies. For small damages, pop a fiber. For big damages, use movies, and rotate them to benefit from all buffs. New big leap forward attack, the fourth stage, more Orb Junior Weavers join the fight. Repeat the same strategy. Kite and shoot gas arrows. This was the Scream attack. It makes the brood more resistant to attacks. You will do less damage for a short period. New big leap forward. Seems like our final stand. We got this, boys.
broke mother dead. Now, what's the most important thing to do after she is dead? Take a photo to show off to your friends. You are the king of the backyard, my friend. By killing the brood mother, you unlock a new mutation and get four materials: brood mother chunk, brood mother fang, brood mother venom, and web fiber. After analyzing some of these materials, you will unlock the recipes for the mask of the mother demon and the cub of the mother demon. As I said before, if you have any questions or doubts, comment below and I will help you kill this beast. You can also click on the link I posted on the video description for a full detailed written guide. And more videos on Grounded are coming. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, I will really appreciate your support. See you around, spider hunters!